Harry Potter. Yeah, kick him. Kick him in the butt, man. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't notice that the camera was on. It's pretty embarrassing. I didn't notice the camera was on. Hello! You've reached me again! Hope you're happy because you reached me again. And you reached the master of everything square and cube shaped and everything made out of paper. Like this. Which you can now watch on my video link or description banner. But that's not the point. I'm going to teach you how to make something really cool today. Alright, I was walking around in school, and I was wondering, where do you get those? Well, of course, I learned, and it pretty much looks like this. And you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, I'll show you what it is. It has a little pocket in it. So you stick your finger in there, and it looks like a claw thing. It's not the coolest thing, but it's really cool when you take a bunch... And you put it on like this. That is what it's cool. I'm going to teach you how to make them. So, it's pretty cool. It's like this, and you can stick them on all your fingers. And it's pretty cool, and it's also very easy. So, what it requires is a regular sheet of printer paper like this. I am using green because my mom said I can't use the white color printer paper because we're running out, and... My dad needs it, so she bought me green colored printer paper. And I'm going to teach you how to make something really cool, which I already said, so let's get started. Okay, once you have a regular sheet of printer paper like this, it should look perfectly like that. Alright, that's better. It should look like this. Now what you first want to do is take this corner and go all the way to this corner. Increase that. Pretty good. So it should look like this, and you should see that you have this line, this pretty much excess line, going along there like that. Well, you pretty much want to, you see that line? So what you want to do is be normal, normally we'll be cutting that off to get a square sheet of paper. But instead of doing that, you're going to take this corner over here and fold it like that. So it should look like this. Alright? So like that. Now what you're going to want to do is notice that there's this excess paper that you didn't cut off. What you're going to do is take these tips and fold them over there. Like that. Do the same. Well, pretty much like that. Do the same with the other one. And it should look like that. Sorry. It should look like that, basically. Now what you're going to do is take that and fold it down on top of that. So it looks kind of like this. Because you've taken it and fold it down on top of that. And it should look like that. Now you don't want to hold it like this. You want it to be down like this. So the tip should be facing you. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is to make a crease going along there, you're going to take this and go all the way to the other side. And now unfolds. Now what you're going to do is take this and fold it up along that line. So, like that. So it should look like this. Now what you're going to do is just take that and go like that. Now on the back, 
go like that. And now you notice you have this tip and you see that little pocket you have there? Just stick it in there. And it's tucked in like that. Well, that's pretty much it. You're done. It's pretty simple. And I hope you're able to make it. Now just see this pocket in there? Stick your finger in there. And it could be like this. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you're able to make it. And make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.